Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is making quick crystals. As always, adult supervision is required. What you'll need for this experiment is a measuring cup, Epsom salt, food coloring, and a cup or a bowl. Making quick crystals requires a one-to-one -one process. So I use three-quarter cup, 177 milliliters of Epsom salt, and three-quarter cup hot water straight out of the tap, as hot as you can get it. Then stir it for a couple minutes until the solution is almost all the way dissolved. And then add your food coloring. I put about three drops, but you can put more if you want. And we're going to place it in the refrigerator uh, overnight. If you want to do a quick cooling process, you could put it in the freezer for the first 10 minutes and then put it into the refrigerator overnight. Here it is the next morning, and here's our crystals. Looking pretty cool, nice and thin. Epsom salt is just another name for a chemical called magnesium sulfate. How do the Epsom salt crystals grow? Well, hot water holds more Epsom salt crystals than cold water does. That's because the heated molecules move farther apart, making room for more and more Epsom salt crystals to dissolve. When no more crystals can be dissolved, that's when we have a saturated solution. As the solution cools, the water molecules move closer together again. Cooling the solution rapidly by putting it in the freezer for the first 10 minutes and then put it in the refrigerator overnight encourages fast crystal growth. Since there's less room for the dissolved salt in the cooler, denser solution. As the solution cools, the magnesium sulfite atoms run into each other and join together in a crystal structure. Crystals grow in this way will be small, thin, and numerous. Left undisturbed, the crystals should last for months or more. It's pretty awesome. You can see the crystals grew on the outside of the bowl here too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up below and to subscribe. And thanks for watching.